Hello, everybody. I think I'm just about ready to get started. Welcome, Chris. Let's shout a little bit. Well, we're going to do our best to deal with, I guess, the new dungeon type. Hopefully, this is the last we get of the awful spinny rooms. We'll see where it goes from there. We still have to find the other places, actually. We did two out of the four Diablo pillars. We have ideas as to where they are, but I, I haven't actually confirmed it in the game. Like, I feel like they're going to be in basically the cardinal directions. But we need to actually find them. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. Make sure PSO controls are off. Yeah, Christmas, uh, <laughs> I, I paused the game. I, I might have gotten a little upset towards the end of the last Phoenix trial. And then I ended up just playing PSO. <laughs> we ended up uh, beating it, though. It's not a very long one. But the disappointment per minute was much higher than much other cases, especially that last part of the trial. Holy. Oh, intro. We meet again. I want to check something. Look at the ammo. I want to see what was the name of this gun. Uh. Yeah. For me, it's bottom five. I I'm mixed whether or not I like the Maid Cafe less or not. I think Maid Cafe has some really gross characters that might barely edge it out, but by far, I did not like that case start to finish. We're talking raw percentage of bad. I think that one actually does win. But anyway, um... Do you have any hints as to where to go? Near Guild Galad. Okay. I don't remember where the other region is. Um, Gilgalad's in the northwest. Baskar Village, I don't remember at all. I, we might have been to it already. We got the one near the Seld region. I'm not worried about that. Where? They're saying there's one near Baskar? Hmm. Uh, not quite where I thought it was. Let's teleport to Gilgalad. See where it's referring to. Welcome in Parameter. Hmm, there is a green icon. Where is that relative to anything else? I'm not sure. Oh. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I was actually closer to where I needed to be than the game was letting on. Alright, I think I need to fly there. If I'm looking at that correctly. That means I need to literally take this thing. Hope you're doing well in Parameter. How did Terrell's ego go the other day? There is something here. Unfortunately, I don't think we can land here and do anything with it. I mean, I guess I could reveal it if I want to. But we're gonna have to take the hovercraft here later. At least we know where that is. We can also see if there's any other things we could pick up, because we do have the little dots telling us where things are. 
I think I'm missing a lot of items here, based off of the icons. Are you trying to level a specific character or something? I, I dislike that I can't go backwards with this. Oh, come on. There we go. Being finicky with me. Uh... Alright, that wasn't too terrible to find. We are missing a lot of items based off the little icons there. Hmm. No, Irene's starting to catch up in terms of HP, which is good. She's kind of far behind due to the fact that she came in the party late. Whatever last party member we get better be a god, because they're going to be so far behind stat-wise. Like, just think, chat. We're already, like, so many levels in. I'm already skipping a fair number of encounters. They're going to be, like, so horribly under HP'd. I wonder if they'll even be usable. I might as well see what's here. just melee is good enough here. We'll find out. Wow, Thesaurus outsped? That's embarrassing. I just prayed the last party member isn't cliche. No, I don't think it can be. We did get, uh, you know what? You know who it is? It should be Gremlin, right? Because Gremlin had an image for their recruit. I thought Gremlin had one a while back. What is this garbage? Oh, do you want me to throw a knife in between? Is that what's happening here? Okay. I mean, I'll take this over the auto-scroller. I'll call that a small victory. It's not like super, super fun, but it is like kind of like a carnival game. It's fun. The auto-scroller was heinous. Wow, I got into no encounters there. I didn't even skip. This should be boss, right? Oh. Do I just have to fall because I hit the other thing? I think I do. Okay, now it's getting more annoying. Alright, so I get- I can- Are you really gonna make me sit through this animation? Gosh, that is so obnoxious. Well, they found a way, they found a way to make that annoying to me. Just like we call those time wasters. Like, what, like really? Do I have to sit through like eight seconds of animation? On like, come on, give me a break. Yeah, exactly. Like, just make them all disappear at once. Stupid. Evoke a Pete and Fur Fur. Okay. Um. Uh, this Ice Beam. Should be good here. That is kind of annoying that he outsped us due to his BS speed. We still need to get more kills in general. We're gradually unlocking light attack. Although honestly, chat, I thought about if I wanted to try something specific after this. 
I should have done that while we're back at the other town. Remind me, chat. I want to try putting a super-powered spell in the caps that we acquired. Is I I think it might out damage what Hello has. Like here's my theory, but I'd like to actually try it. So you know how we have like it I mean it's only gonna be useful for like nine more levels. But from the standpoint of like you see how Water Gun is like an okay kind of unlock? Like how does that compare to like High Spark or like Vortex from what's her name? Vicky Two. So we could we could potentially capsule those. I don't think there's a limit as to what we could capsule. Uh, I'm gonna try something. Hello. You're right. I know. Someone's trying to make sure we don't get there first. I feel it too. This evil. It's no ordinary person. I'm not gonna be beat. I'm determined to get strong. It might be impossible alone, but with you all behind me and Puka behind me, I know I could get stronger. No, listen, hello, you're already the strongest. Calm down there, hello. All right, Chad, like, how much stronger it needed to be? Oh, what are you? Shapeless slime monster Draldo? Why is it called Draldo? Interesting. Where's Draldo? I have a question based off of what I have. I need to see what I'm actually equipped with. Try something, Chan. I'm gonna take it easy on this turn. If we could figure out an elemental weakness, maybe slime hates fire. I wanna actually try to get up to 50 FP with hello to see if we can one-shot these things. I'm gonna just choose to weaken them. If they die on our team, they die. The odds of hello dying are basically zero. Oh, so that does... Okay. So now I just need to build FP. So I'm hoping that we actually get targeted by the other thing. So, like, how powerful is... Okay, I'm gonna tell everybody to defend. How powerful is, like, a combine with hello? Like, is combine's damage based off of magic power? Please don't paralyze him. I'm gonna be very upset if this paralyzes him. Oh, I don't care. You can lower my resistance. I, I literally don't care about that at all. Let's try something. I think you had fire, right? So, I... Am I able to tell if it multi-hits or not? That's the only thing I'm not sure about. Sending it to a multi-hit. Welcome, Murphy. Like, let's... I just want to witness. How much damage does he do with a combine? So we know the weirdly named Vapor Blast is the fire move, because of course it is. Uh, how much is this going to do? Like, is it like 5,000? Is it like 8,000? Is it worth using over other spells? It's gonna do... 10,000? Wow. Okay, well I guess that answers that question, chat. Fight over. <laughs> just... Just nope. So I guess... I guess anything that buffs his meter gain is worth it, because, like, that is, um, a thing. I'm guessing it does scale off of magic damage. 
I didn't even see what we get. I was I was in pure shock. Oh, there we go. It was an armor. Sure. I mean, he's already unkillable. So I guess if we could figure out weakness, it's over. Yeah, poor Draldo indeed. Let's see how this team does. I mean, like, yeah, what a beast. So we just have to play guess the weakness, I guess. So maybe we'll just choose... I don't know. I mean, I guess... Okay, so here's the other thing I want to test. Which, I, I... Again, I should have probably done this before we got here. But I'm wondering for, like, human characters that have no general weakness, for example... Is it worth using High Spark or, like, one of the other abilities on them? Like, if we can find the weakness, obviously, then it's whatever. We just use the weakness. But for, like, generic damage... Especially if we're only gonna be fighting, like, one boss at a time... How much more damage does that do compared to our basic abilities? That not killing is such a shame. So we're trying to unlock light magic damage with him, which we're getting closer. But I don't think we'll have it before the end. So we know we're gonna fight a human opponent at the end of the tower. So yeah, I do feel bad. We did... S not we. I messed up the, the weapons on one of our main characters, which feels kind of terrible. I was hoping he would get another item to compensate. Like, this cluster would have been amazing to have fully leveled. Railgun is okay. It just, it's not gonna happen if we're just gonna steamroll them. It'll be good for mini bosses, or if I happen to power level at some point. Yeah, if we, if we can find out elemental weakness, like, maybe it's even worth bringing in another mage just to search weakness faster. Although we can't test light and dark, so we just have to go off our gut. I'm assuming if it's undead, we will always use light spells. I don't know when we would use dark spells. There's not really, like, a, a common angel type that I've really recognized from the enemies. We're gonna take this encounter. This is a before. We need light magic pretty much ASAP. Or undead, which we do see a pretty big number of. Hopefully we learn it soon. I know we needed 10 to start with, and I think we've gotten at least 5 kills. We can't be, like, super far away from it. These enemies are annoying enough that I don't want to, like, camp for hello to learn it. Yeah, her not doing enough damage there is tragedy. Goodbye. On the plus side, it keeps our other party members at full health. Oh, critical? GG. Wait, did he outspeed hello? Wait. How? Wait, how? Wait, what's his response speed now that he went before? Hold on. Let's compare stats real quick. His response is 186. She outspeeds, that much we know. Is that higher than... It is higher than the others. Interesting. We actually have a very fast high damage character. Interesting. I mean, I'll take it. If he outspeeds the enemy at all, that's hilarious. Oh, come on. Come on. Is this really happening? What is this? Where is the exit that you even want me to go to? What is- what is- you, I don't know what my destination is. Is it over here somewhere? Uh oh. Oh, oh, so, oh, sorry, chat. This, uh, waist-high wall. Listen, we can't get past this. This isn't very visually confusing either as a maze. I don't know what you're talking about, chat. I can clearly tell the difference between the floor and the walls. I mean, couldn't you very easily distinguish without looking at the ridiculous patterns where we had to go? So I have to go up somehow. Okay. Stupid. Well, 
What an annoying gimmick. Yeah, you see that confidence at the end, chat? <laughs> it's like, I'm like, I saw it once. That's all I needed. Stupid. <laughs> it stands out so well. Yeah, you're right. And they could have at least colored... Like, even if they used the same pattern, they could have at least colored it a little differently. What the heck are these? Tiny gems? Are these, like, rare enemies? Should I be, like, bazooka-ing them? We'll check how many more of these we need in a moment. I really just like that this enemy always goes first. He's wounding me enough that I might actually have to first aid, which is pretty annoying. In case the other enemies are rare, I'm about to kill them all. No, they're not rare. I mean, we got money for it, but... Oh yeah, speaking of which, how much money are we back up to? 64,000? We're at, like, reasonable money totals. They're not bad for a battle. Okay, how far were we from learning the other ability? One, or one off. And we can learn the depth stuff, like Arcana 13 and Thanatos X. Arcana 13 looks pretty strong, to be honest with you. We saw it used against us before, and that, like, legit one-shot a party member. So for a life drain ability, it being able to do like 3,000 is kind of insane. So I think that would make Pillar basically invincible. I'd like one more encounter to heal. We're gonna leave one enemy alive so I can learn the light spell. So I would like you to, I guess, kill the first guy. Then with everybody else, build meter. Lightning user, that's fine. That did hilariously no damage. Use first aid, and then I might as well just get the kill with hello as well. Why does the word inspire injure me? That's social commentary. Let's use the light attack because we haven't seen it before. Oh, that, that's just the same thing as the ice ability. It's just a different color. That's lame. Lame. Reusing the animation of spells that aren't even of the same element. That's so bad. Come on. Be better than that. Anyway, we're on our way to learning the upgraded light spell, which might be useful in the future. Yeah, let's not fall off here, so I'm gonna take my time. Get out of my way! Nariel Fortress, you all don't need a toy like that. Once the energy output from the Diablo Pillars is blocked, I'm Delgazo cannot go. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, uh, they didn't even talk to us. You act so self-righteous. I hate that. It's so irritating. That outlaw scum opposing Sir Vincefeld's ideals for Odessa. Hey, Randolph, how about feeding these guys to a space-time distortion? Hey, Randolph. Let's attack. Um... I guess I could risk not attacking so I could build up... See how it goes. Let's use Black Gate. We haven't used that yet. This one. I'm gonna make sure we build meter for later. So you know, if they AOE us, this would be ideal. Let's see what this ability is about. Okay, just good damage. Critical's good. It's basically like we did a weapons amount of damage for an auto attack. 
Oh no, not 4D Hypo Blast. They targeted hello. Did decent damage. But I'm not gonna do anything other than what I'm doing. Use lock on with I don't know what our strongest one was. Was it lawnmower? It might have been, sadly. Let's use Dark Star. Let's go for drive cut. Actually, we'll do another normal. See how much damage this does comparatively. Yeah, Thesaurus with crit does as much as Low is doing with no target. How much does this do with lock on? Oh, it does less. Who's he targeting here? Targeting Thesaurus? He should survive this. He has a hilarious amount of HP. I'm assuming this is a magic attack. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother healing. That's all you got. He's Bazooka. We'll use Arctic, because I don't think we've seen that before. I almost have enough meter to spam my best ability constantly, so let's build a little more meter here. Okay. I mean, if they target the Saurus again, I'll just heal. We're always going first, so the odds of us losing are basically zero. Okay, so... So critical actually way out damages our weapons at this point. That's kind of sad, but I guess that's a way of compensating. I thought they put a low pretty low. We'll just do normal attacks then. So if we crit, it literally does more damage than everything else we have. That's kind of sad. Uh, we'll do 70 here. I'm, I'm surprised they're not targeting Irene ever. Whatever. She's now at full power, so we can take advantage of this. Gate of Azold, okay. Did you silence me? Oh, that's actually pretty annoying. Wow. That is actually super, super annoying. And the character that outspeeds our caster is asleep. Wow, that is... Really, really annoying, actually. I have to heal manually. Okay, put hello out of kill range. Words I never thought we would say this early in the playthrough. But I guess if you just disable my ability to cure, I guess that works. I don't really care about poison on Thesaurus, to be honest. Marine will hopefully wake up next turn by herself. We can actually take advantage of her FP. I don't imagine this character has much health left, but it's kind of risky to do that. We get silenced again. It's kind of GG. They're targeting Thesaurus. Oh no, they're targeting Hello. Um. I can't believe she's still asleep. That is actually so annoying. Please wake up. But we're probably within like three attacks of winning at this point. Or never mind. I guess crit did more damage than I thought. I'll take that. Impossible. Could lose to guys who have no ideals and no protocol. I guess Kayana had less health than the other characters? I don't feel like we did 20,000. Like, I guess just... I guess we really did start with the hardest bosses. Since this character definitely had less HP than the others. Impossible. To lose to guys who have no ideas. No ideals and no protocol. Can't die in a place like this. No way. For the future of Filgaia. The Filgaia ruled by, ruled by Vinsfeld. I must carry on. Yeah, yeah, whatever.
So, like, did each of these just have a basic elemental weakness? And i just been missing it? Like, can I just use water on the next one? Because I don't think anything was weak to water. For the equivalency thereof. Hey, rend off the magic key. One last time, give me strength. I'm not gonna let it end here and now like this. Randolph, what is the meaning of this? Woo! Why did they woo? Oh, okay. We won, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's an appropriate response to whatever that was. Woo, chat. Yup. We're the ones who destroyed those pure ideals so easy to believe in. Just because they're pure doesn't mean they're right. Sometimes purity can narrow your view of the world. Path of uncertainty and confusion may have failures, but it'll never be wrong. That's true, is it? Let's go, Odessa's treachery hasn't been obliterated yet. I'm gonna do a big question mark there. I am very annoyingly poisoned though, let me go cure that. Blue Donna says why, yeah, I, I don't know why that happened, Blue Donna, I can't explain to you. I guess Randolph rebelled? For some reason? Question mark. Okay, Irene finally has over 3,000 health. That was really bothering me as a melee character. She had, she had less health than Vicky. Now she's at least climbing above Vicky in HP. So probably in like five or six levels, she'll be above below. Uh, let's see. Alright, what we're gonna do... I have to get the hovercraft anyway, so I'm gonna be teleporting around. I'm gonna go back here. Wide open. Thank you for following Dapoy Marco. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna try something new. So we had it on Kirk Weapon for a while, which was okay. But usually there's not a really a reason to justify using it. So I think what I'm gonna do instead. Let's take the crest caps that we used up. Armor down might actually be worth thinking about it. Where's the level 2 lightning? Let's use remote battery. I don't think we've used that spell at all. I'm gonna make them all the same thing. I can learn new spells if I want to. Unfortunately, these are just too expensive for her to realistically ever use. Yeah. Like, I want these, but she's just not going to be able to do them in most combat. Unfortunate. I guess I'll give her a non-elemental attack, which we need to name it some. Sure, so if other people want to name some spells, I guess we'll give her more high options she'll never use. So, we're going to save this for bosses. But what I want to see in general, though... see what are this life. Fire. Lightning. Shoot item. Snow. So, like, I'm really curious if the next one will be weak to one of those other abilities. I mean, it's also possible they could be weak to dark. It's like... See, this is this is more of a knowledge check. I don't know what their weakness is going to be without looking it up. So I imagine in like a replay, Hello would be even more broken than Hello is currently because I would just know all their weaknesses. I don't think I'll replay this game, but it is interesting to observe how much damage weakness does in this game. If we're able to guess accurately, we're good. Uh, need to be near this area, right? I think. Oh, 
aren't there already? At some point, as I said before, we'll try to clean up some items. Oh, never mind, I put it here. This is not very useful. Thanks, Hovercraft. Not gonna help me. I thought it was gonna put it on the other. I didn't realize that was a one way. Um, I think maybe t bock will put it where I need it to go. Wait, is there seriously no beach over here? That's... This is getting progressively more annoying. Where... Do I go from quarterly? I need the hovercraft with me, for clarity. Okay, I think that'll work. I swear they did that on purpose, chat, to make the hovercraft not easy to put in the right position. I'm not gonna remember some arbitrary, like, side area for this. Oh, is there a landing pad there? Oh, maybe I could take the landing pad then. Looks like it's up there, actually. Good to know, I suppose. But one thing I wanted to check before we go any further... This. Can't quite get it to identify from the water, that's unfortunate. Let's just go land somewhere. Apparently, I gotta fly over there. Can't quite identify it. That's so sad. Okay, so I need to go back to the chateau. It looked like I had to land on the pad that's up there. I was thinking it was, like, along the waterfront. I couldn't quite tell where it was. Sadly, we gotta get back in this awkward thing. I can't use the search thing while I'm flying. So maybe I'm finally allowed to do something up here? Like after we're done with the pillars, I guess. Okay, hold on. Let me just identify where this is. Is it not here? I mean, there's a little beach there in case I did miss that other beach. Let's find out in real time. Is it... Oh, maybe it is not up here. That's annoying. So it's actually... Okay, so it is, like, right in front of me, but not in a way that I can reach it easily. Okay. Let's go back to... Hovercraft, then. back. So there's one beach that might lead us to where we need to go. We're skipping all those encounters, Chad. I'm like, no thank you. We got other things to do. No thanks. I mean, it's nice to learn light spells, but they're not, like, mandatory at this point. take me the way that I wanted to? I don't think so, right? Okay, so there's no items over here, at least I can confirm that for later. That too was gonna bother me. It feels like there should have been something back there. We gotta kinda curl into this, looking at this properly. Where was the other end? The other side of this, but I need to go through. There maybe? and you're not letting me beach. Hello? Oh, okay, just that one spot for some reason, sure. Whatever, as long as we park eventually. That's not quite where the mini map was telling me that was, but sure, that's fine. 
If anything, I wish they could give up uh, FP to Hello. I don't know if I necessarily care about him giving up FP. He's such a level advantage on everybody. His abilities are just clearly better than like the entire parties. It's kind of insane. I wish that was on uh, Vicky too. I would have been using that. Con I would have been using her a lot more if she had that. Necromancer. Oh, so it's like a light and dark area. Wow, we're getting out sped with this team. That blo uh, that blows my mind. We are like hilariously fast. Right, Chan? I mean, we're in like the 220 plus response speed territory. I'm surprised anything outspeeds us at this point. Let alone a regular spellcaster. Oh boy, what is this dungeon's terrible gimmick? Let's find out. I'm sorry, what? Oh no, is this pick a path? Are, are we doing this? Oh no, it's no, 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 it's not pick a path. Oh, I know what this is. I messed it up then. Do I have to end it? Will they all go down if they raise up? Let me, let me fix this. Let me reset. So... I think if I go this way, this should be fine. But the thing is, like... Whether I go up or left here is the question. Right, I could do this without getting caught. The question is, where does it want me to end? Hopefully this is fine. Where do I- oh, I have to end there. It's not gonna go back down. Oh, see, that's- that's information I didn't know. I was like, will this go back down? It's annoying. Okay. I needed to end it more in the middle. Uh, let me think. What pattern can I do to get through this more easily? So I could go left... I need to leave myself one tile. That's the thing. I don't think it matters if I do this or not. I'm just thinking from here. Like what? How many tiles? That's so a 4x4. Four four. I hate puzzles like this, chat. I'm just like, this is too early in the morning for me to do. Okay, so if I go this way... I, can't, I have to take care of the sides first, I think. The question is more... I think I see what I need to do. I hate that I automatically get caught up there. So I want to end at the tile that's up there. I'm just thinking about from this one, where do I go? I think... Uh, I don't think that's going to work. Maybe I should have gone to the other side. Just thinking. Yeah, that's not going to work the way I want it to. Oh, okay. Well, let me think about this. It's more... I need to make the other one... slightly out of the way. I think I need to flip my thinking a little bit, so... It, so I don't think the left side will work because I'm gonna be on the wrong side. So if I'm gonna flip things around a little bit, I think if I do this again, but I go instead of at the top, if I cut across here, this should work, I think? And then I can basically half the field that I'm working with. Let's half this. That way I can choose to end wherever I want. So now I have to think from here. So I 
think I could just do something like this. This should work. Yeah, this will work. Yeah, because I was recognizing, like, I didn't have enough tiles if I went to the left side when I thought it through. I'm like, I probably had to cut it somewhere. So if, it, if that didn't work, I was going to cut it on the third row. I guess at this point I should just block with them because they're gonna out. We're gonna get outsped. That should do hilariously no damage. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I was wondering if I could cut in the middle, and then I was like, uh, I needed like if I didn't hit the the middle, or if I didn't hit like the one that was immediately to the left, the other thing I was doing would have worked. I was like, wait a minute, I can't double back on it. Fortunate. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Antonor says, I'm gonna test your memory. Memorize the correct pattern. Is that a 3x3? Three three? That's disgusting. <sighs> I mean... I'm really gonna... I I'm gonna write this down. I screw, screw memorizing this chat. One, okay, so I'm gonna say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. The pattern is... 3, 5. Oh, that went too... That went too fast for me. I, I couldn't even look up from that. That really sucked. I gotta restart. Man, why does it show me it's so fast? Are you really not going to let me... Are you really not going to redo it? I only got, like, seven of them because I wasn't looking. Oh, come on. Can you give me a different pattern? Ugh. Why is that so fast, chat? It, it is actually pretty difficult to remember nine in a row. I just, I want something more normal. Give me a second. I need to write this down in a way that'll make sense to me. I'm sorry, chat. Oh, my brain, I, I, I am just way too tired to do this. I'm sorry. I'm like, come on. Couldn't it have given me at least like seven or eight? Why did it have to be nine? Jeez, chat. I'm like like one percent awake. I really don't want mind memorization games. There's not even like a good it's not even like it's forming an L or it's like drawing a picture. It's like very arbitrarily going in there. Hold on. I, I think I know what I need to do with this. I know how to get through this my way. Yeah, this is really annoying. The speed of it means like I can barely write it down before it does whatever it's gonna do. So irritating that this is happening. Also, my notepad plus plus got messed up because I was trying to take notes. I don't know what happened to it. That actually really sucks. I don't know what I did to it, and it is horribly messed up. I'm just going to close it for now. Why did it have to go? I actually almost had it that time. Then it went diagonal. I lost it. And chat, we're going to be here a while. I, as I said before, I am like, I did not sleep well. So trying to remember nine arbitrary patterns with no, it's not drawing anything. It's on like a grid. I don't have an easy way of writing this down. It goes really, really fast. It's like, it's not like they're if they were different colors i would do this puzzle very easily because then i could just write down the color but it's just like i can't keep the structure of where it is and also write this down this really sucks i 
I just don't know of a good way of capturing it with how fast it is. Without, like, memorize... Like, it, by the time I think... Like, by the time I look at it, see that, like, it's gonna be six on the list, and I go to hit six, it's already at, like, four, and then, like, my finger's moving to four, and then it's at eight, and then it usually gets, like, one or two ahead of me because it's so long. I hate this so much. Alright, triangle... I almost had that without writing it down. I think it was something like this. See, like, see what I mean? Like, I could do like five or six in a row without thinking about it. I don't remember what the order was here. Might have been an ending at the bottom. I don't remember. I might have been off by one. That sucks. Okay. Like, I remember the initial shape, and I'm like, I just can't remember this, Chad. This really sucks. I really hate this. It's like... I wanted it to go... If it went to the right here, my brain was like, I hope it goes to this tile. I know... Oh, I did not mean to step on that tile. And I can't undo it. I was thinking it was something like this. Like, right and then left. So, unfortunately, I stepped on the tile. I, I hate it! I hate it, too. I hate it. What is this garbage? I don't know. I might need help with the final three. I can't rem- There's too many for me to remember, and it's not going in a pattern that makes sense to me. Help me with the final three, Chad. I'm too tired to do this. Middle down. Uh-huh. Why did it go in the diagonals? Uh, I don't think I'd memorized that many. It was like middle, down, left. Was it right up? I don't remember. As I said before, I keep looking for patterns and then there's no pattern. And then that throws me off because my brain remembers what I wanted to do. I want to say it's top was next. Top and the upper left. It ended in kind of a triangle, but I don't remember when the other one was here. The numpad doesn't help. I don't have a numpad in front of me. I'm assuming it was... I think it made a triangle here, so I think that was fine. I forgot the ones in the middle. Like that, like I know when it makes a pattern that my brain recognizes, it's a lot easier to remember. But like when it goes like real goofy and it like just diagonals on me for no reason, my brain doesn't have a way to memorize it when I'm this tired. I really hate this. Yeah. I had- I thought about it a little bit. I'm like, I know it made a triangle, I just forgot where the starting point was at the end. Also, let me check something. It was- I had on a- There's a- Right here, right down. sound setting. Windows 11, please.
Nothing you do anything. I'm gonna be able to do it all too, just like my older sister. I don't know why she thinks she's an important character. She's not been relevant for a long time. thing called? What's oh, called Prisnum? Hmm. Well, at least I have an idea of what it's weak to. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tell everybody to defend. I think this will be GG. Yeah, you can do that attack all you want. I don't care. I'm blocking. It should not hurt us very much. Alright, so it's a, like, it's like a light monster, right? So why don't we just nuke it with dark magic? Right? I still have the- I don't have the dark thing equipped, but I can equip it. Alright. This should just be GG. Stupid enemy making me do puzzles. <laughs> it's like, go- go to hell, boss. <laughs> so done with you. There we go, chat. I figured out the real puzzle. How to end a battle instantly. That's a thing. Stupid boss. Get out of my face. <laughs> it's not Prism's fault. I'm taking it out on Prism chat. Listen. I he can pretend he's the boss. If I find out your weakness, it's over. It's just officially over. Goodbye. The lead button activated. We're not playing that anymore. It gave me a vest. I'm assuming it's for this character. Oh, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he got another vest? Oh, that's fine. Never mind, it wasn't a vest. Rest mail. Sort of inventory. It is kind of a mess. really need to sell some of these. Oh, it's for the sorceress. Okay. No. I thought it was a vest. What is a... F Wait, hold on. Wait. That hold on. Okay, I feel... I feel less bad now. I said it was a vest, and I was like, who wears vests? And I went to Thesaurus when I was looking for the vest. But it's on her? Oh, I don't like the mixing item names, chat. That actually really bothers me. Don't like that at all. Just call all the items that are that, like, a code, or make it ambiguous. Don't- don't name things that other characters are using. It's confusing. Uh, actually, do I take an encounter here? Maybe I take one. Shouldn't have cancelled that encounter. We're gonna walk until we get it. I'm gonna heal. Ew. Harvest man. Uh, you need to go immediately. If I get a kill here, this is fine. I just want to make sure I'm healed for the boss. I didn't take a lot of damage. I'm still going to take some damage from these. Unclean ones obey. How much is this going to do? Not that much. That's fine. Should be GG. This does so much damage. Critical on this character is actually kind of insane if all he wants to do is build meter. So I'm regretting critical a bit less on him, especially when I messed up the weapons. I think if I had known about the crafting thing, I don't think critical would have been that useful. It would have been like okay on our other character, Irene, to try to because she's always building meter. Don't know if that impacts her skill or not. Uh, well, moment of truth. Let's let's see how much damage we do with some of our spells. 
So we've kept the caps to see if those do more damage with hello. Because presumably it does damage based off your magic score, which hello should be like out of this world levels of high at this point. So we should just be in like hopefully 3k territory. That would be like one of the few times I would consider recharging our items. So otherwise it feels like a pointless waste of time. I like it in theory, but I hate that it doesn't recover. Like, I wish, for example, if you got a kill, it would recharge those. Like, after X kills, they recharge them in your inventory, so you don't need to constantly go back and forth with it. If you move the wrong switch, you have to do it again. Go for it. Wha is this just literally guessing games? What are we, Surge from Pokemon? I... Wow. Chat. We're really bringing back Surge from Po- Are we in the electric gym right now? I'm checking the trash cans. Try again. Is this happening? How many switches are there? Oh my gosh. So I have to just- uh, Well, hopefully it doesn't rotate through. We'll find out. One. Let's hit the bottom stuff first. Two. I am really disliking the dungeon design in this game. So, we've cleared four. I hit the wrong switch. Alright, okay, curiosity. Is it random? Oh, it's random! Oh my gosh! You gotta be kidding me! Come on! Wild Arms! Why? <laughs> Why is it random? Yeah! Holy, this dungeon design is pissing me off, chat. I'm now officially mad at the game. Like, I was annoyed at having to memorize I nine in a row. I'm now pissed it. off. What is this? Oh my gosh, we got so lucky. You have no idea. No skill at all to that. Such... I hate stuff like that. Okay, I, I'm gonna say this, chat. I think I'd almost rather be in Thor. <laughs> To be honest with you, this this is down there like I, I I almost feel like I'd rather do the board game dungeon from uh what's it called? Eternia. I would rather do that over this one. This is actual nonsense. I hate this dungeon. Can we please be done with this and never do this kind of dungeon again? I'm tempted to not bother with bonus bosses. My mood is like so sour from having to do this nonsense on like nauseating visuals. Disgusting. Get out of my way. Though she's an Odessa officer, if possible, I'd rather not fight that woman. You're so naive. I have my reasons for being here and I'm ready to die if I must. So you're saying you won't retreat? He's watching because Vincefeld's watching. He's watching because who's he? <laughs> what what is that? What did that sentence even mean? Who is the he in the context of that sentence? How admirable of you. I thought she was talking about Vincefeld originally, but whatever. If you attack, we have no choice but to respond. We'll give it our best shot. Yeah, this is truly rock bottom dungeon design. I don't know what he, she, it's clearly Villain, maybe. Vinsfeld is watching me stand here on the battle. No, that was established, Antonora. So to meet his expectations, I'll have to fight you. Did she accidentally refer to him in the third person and also name him? Is that what happened? It would make sense if she said Vinsfeld was watching her, but then she said he and Vinsfeld are watching her. So I'm like, what? Murphy's indeed a star of destiny. I'm not protecting the Diablo Pillar. I'm protecting the feelings in my heart. Wow. Everything started that day. It's all for the feelings in my heart. Now come. Yeah, I'm gonna teach her the feelings of electricity to the face. I I have definitely had enough of this dungeon. Where is this at? She's gonna learn today. Hey, how much does this do? 3,800? Oh, I should have been doing this way sooner. I should have been doing that way sooner, chat. Holy. Oh, go ahead, boss. Counter-attacker. That's fine. Okay, right, so we now know what the end game strat is. We just stack all the capsules possible on hello. 
That is an insane damage boost. I mean, you can hit hello all you want. Unless you status ailment him, it doesn't really matter. So at this point, I'm just going to lock on with one mower. I'm going to use that item again because the damage was insane. I guess I'll wire fist into level two. <laughs> He's going to get nuked and so is he. Yeah, this damage is just insane. So she's taking bazillions at this point. I was going to say, chat, what do you think the bets are if you were to look at a random game FAQ's guide that they even mentioned using this strategy? It clearly outdamages everything that we have. Oh, hit her, please. Oh, you ability locked her? Okay, that kind of annoys me. There's no way, chat. I would believe a speedrun guide would mention this. I'm not, I don't have faith in game facts. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother healing. This fight is basically over. He does so much damage. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> 7,000 experience attained. War risk fight acquired. Why bother healing, chat? Just end the fight. It's over. It's all gonna be over now. The pain that has been concealed in my heart has finally been given form. She's too powerful, you will game over. I mean... I wouldn't put it past game FAQs, to be honest. Need for him to see how I look right now. I need Vinspelt to see. <laughs> Do you look extra crispy? Because we definitely destroyed you. No mercy. She also seemed to have a little less HP. Because I feel like I only did about 1500 or so. So I think we did literally start with the hardest one, which is just super unfortunate. Are you... Are you and Vinsfeld? I I'm assuming they're like a couple. I'm assuming that's what's implied there. Are you and Vinsfeld? <laughs> me and that man. <laughs> you make me laugh. You got it all wrong. It's the opposite. I despise that man. I want revenge. Revenge? Then why'd you... Both my mother and father were killed by that man. I want to see if this works. Extra crispy! I'll have to add extra crispy to the other one. Let me uh, make a note here. Speed. The old that command. Which is fair. They were killed just because they were connected to the Slayheim royal family. The man Vince felt who led the Slayheim Liberation Army. He killed my parents. But my powers alone weren't strong enough to destroy that man. So, you join forces with the enemy. Makes no sense, says Irene. Didn't I tell you? This is my revenge. This was the biggest revenge I could take on the man who took everything from me. Is it, though? This feels like a really dumb plan. You got killed for him. Did you really get revenge? Couldn't you have just sabotaged the Diablo Pillar? Wouldn't that have been more beneficial for you to do? I feel like the game is not making a lot of sense, chat. I'm just saying, it's like... At any point at this point, she could have joined our party and betrayed him now that we're strong enough to deal with it. Which is like, fair. Maybe she plays a little long and sabotages right at the end, but... Yeah, this is just kind of nonsense. Anyway, I'm just adding in an extra thing for extra crispy. Do extra crispy going forward. I don't know, Chad. Between the translation and these dungeons, the third game better be like, like it, it, if I were to play it, it would have to be like leagues better than this game. Like I thought the first game was fine. It was rough around the edges. This game is actively making me upset, like, to be honest with you. Between, like, the really horrible camera angle, the, the color choices, the awful, awful, awful puzzles. Some are just kind of tedious, and it's like box-pushing puzzles, but man, it just, it's everything I don't want in a game. It's like, I wish it was more along the lines of Mystic Quest with, like, mobility through the dungeon, which was, like, kind of what the first game hit where we were doing things like skating or like doing things to like preemptively get through the dungeon. This one is just kind of like, here's like a million things and it's just really tedious. The only thing you can save this game is frog metal. No, I, I don't think that would save the game for me. 
So I'm very tempted to not bother with the bonus bosses at this point. I'm so mentally checked out today after this. That was just like four really awful dungeons back to back, and already I don't think the dungeons were good up to this up to this point. So very, very disappointing for me, for sure. I would dot 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 that too, hello. Please do better with your dungeon design. Please do not make me rapidly switch between tools in a system where you have to pause constantly to swap. And then, like, if you happen to be diagonal, sometimes it'll hit it, sometimes it won't. And then there's, like, so many pick-a-paths, and, like, everything I don't like in dungeon design is in this game. I feel like we've regressed to the SNES era of game design. Like, this really is reminding me of Terranigma. This is the BS I would expect in Terranigma, not in, like, a second generation game in a series like come on you could do so much better you did better in the first game <laughs> come on i did everything i could to get that man to love me all the sins i committed all the pain i suffered was to steal his heart <laughs> wow okay vincefell came seeking my heart and my body i've come to occupy a large place in his heart I, I think we should all dot 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 that. What will happen to his heart if I'm destroyed by you all? And imagine the expression on his face when he hears I've been destroyed. <laughs> by stealing his valuable me. I get my revenge. Did she die or teleport out? Honestly, I don't know how to interpret that. Revenge. I still believe she had strong feelings for Vincefell. To love and to hate are flip sides of the same coin. It's give it, giving form to gaining strength from one's strong desires. I wonder which one I am. I really can't tell. What? What? <laughs> what? Who? <laughs> what is it? What is this in reference to? What is she? Yeah, exactly, Blue Donna. What? Who, who is she asking this question to, and who is this targeted about? Translation, please. I am really not following what you're talking about. I wonder which one I am. Is it that she has a relationship with Vinsfeld or something that hasn't really been brought up before, in my recollection? Is that what this is? That's the only way I can interpret that and that make any sense. Like, she just directly responded to somebody with that. It wasn't like... It wasn't like she had this dramatic pause by herself and she looked up, looking for answers to the sky or something. She just kind of arbitrarily said it. <laughs> just like, what? Well done, everyone. Cutting off the energy supply from the Diablo Pillars has disabled the stealth function. I'm Delgazo is now naked to the world and showing up on radar. I'm Delgazo has come to stop far south of Selge. We can't waste this chance. Hurry back to Valeria Chateau. We're going to force Heimdall Gazo to land. Well, I mean, before we do that, I'm just gonna teleport anywhere else. Here's what we learned, Chad. It is absolutely worth going through here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just reacquire High Spark. I mean, if it if it always works, why fix it? I was thinking, you know, like fire is like somewhat commonly resisted. We haven't really seen a lot of lightning resist. That's my only theory on this. So it is kind of annoying to do this every time, but the time it saves in boss battles, I think, is worth it. I mean, literally doing almost 100% extra damage is actually insane. Uh, we're gonna save our money. Hopefully we get a better weapon soonish. Or arms, excuse me. Let me clarify my terminology there. That way we can deal with them a bit more easily. Is it worth just taking health ups? At this point, I don't even know if I need other party members to do anything. So, like, they're getting pretty tanky. She's still silenced. I don't know why there's more than one HP restore. Why wouldn't I just take restore HP 2 over restore HP 1, for example?
I don't know what up param means. I mean, this could be, like, really strong. I just don't understand what it means. Is it, like, a cure? For our abilities or something? Hmm. It's kind of one of those things, Chad. I'm just not sure. I'm gonna get hold the points, I guess. We'll finish making her defensive. So she can survive hits. Actually, I don't really know what I want to do. Like, do I want to convert HP so that way I don't have to heal the characters as much? Because I don't think I want most of these abilities. Like, do I cut FP usage? Ugh. I'm just not sure. I'll think about it. I'm not going to make a decision right now. Maybe after this boss battle, I'll think about it a bit more. Let's do Heimdall Gazo, and I swear, chat, if we have to hit some, like, annoying series of buttons gonna be like so so done you're gonna see me quit pretty much as soon as we're done with the boss it's like save state into just a closed stream a game please i mean knowing them we're like we're like way overdue for a teleporter puzzle I feel like that's what they're gonna make us do. Oh. Can they tell us to go to the chateau? It, is the thing I need to go to over here? I said it was near the cells region, right? Hmm. Unless I literally have to talk to them in, it, in order for it to trigger. I don't see them over here. If they're around here, I don't see them. Let's enter it. Raise it won't be that bad, we'll see. Actually, where is he normally when it's like this? So we know how to go from here to here. I think we normally come from here, right? Oh, he's not in here, of course. Did I just call him? Clever jamming has rendered communication impossible. Okay. I mean, I guess I could just fly around a bit. Maybe it's just flying in the sky, arbitrarily. They did say it was near where we are. It's like arbitrarily over here or something. We know that's an item for sure. We found that before. Hmm. They said the Seld region, right? Not hallucinating, because it's definitely the Seld region. Unless they're like over here again or something weird. That's where the pillar was. Hmm. Assuming it's in the sky somewhere, I don't see it though. So I keep going over here, but that's an item. Is it like near this island? <clears throat> 
does it not pop up on my radar or something? Do I have to like literally rotate to find it? <laughs> Where is this dungeon? Huh. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Did chat see it? Like, I don't see anything to do here. They said the Selge region, which I'm pretty sure we were just over. It can't be north because that they would have named another location. Um, I'm really not seeing it. Oh, that was weird. Oh, oh, whatever. Okay, so it's not on the radar. I just had to find it arbitrarily. Okay, cool. Throw your hands in the air, chat. Cool. Not on the radar. We'll set our battle with Odessa right here and now. You're trusting this game to give you good directions. That's fair. I mean, like, there's. It was either to the east or to the south, and I feel like it was. If it was east, they would have given us a different city. There's no way it was north, and there's no way it was west, because they would have given a different area. We'll set our battle with Odessa right here and now. And more importantly, every one of us has to return from here safely. Vicky too. Thesaurus. Hello. Irene. The five of us are... Good only when all five of us are together. We can keep fighting against Odessa because there are five of us. So when we destroy Odessa, it'll be all five of us together. Yes, that's how counting works. Congratulations. If anyone was missing, I'm sure we'd feel the loss. We won't overdo it. We need to. We can always return to Valeria's Chateau from here. Let's go, everyone. What's this? <laughs> Sucks to be that unimportant this character. I think so. Oh, that's not a teleporter. Kind of thought it was. We'll take the fight. He feels very excited to count to five. It was kind of giving me that feel for it. Oh, you're still ability locked. That's awkward. I mean, if you die, that's like curing ability lock. So I don't think I'm going to heal Irene. That's like curing the status ailment chat. It's very similar. Can she one shot? She can. Okay. Uh, the cash is fine. I I don't care about the XP anymore. I just want money. We can finish upgrading our items. I think XP wise we're fine. There's two red doors and a blue door. Do I just go through the blue door? Is it one of these things where I gotta unlock these? Like, can I even go through these? No. Okay. We need something to open the red doors. Security mode, switch to green. Locked green, open red, blue. Okay. There's a side area over there. Green is locked. Alright, so it's not a teleport puzzle. It's just a color puzzle. You know, I do want to get in an encounter, but they keep getting me right as I'm going into doorways. Like, I'm not trying- oh no, what is this? We'll take the battle. So we have a dark room puzzle for some reason. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I wish I could kill my own party member. <laughs> getting better. Mm. I mean, if she's strong enough to one shot, this is fine. Hello, hit 43. Nice. Because you know, Chad, he needed more stats. <laughs> 
The boss with their strongest attack was almost doing 40% of his health. That's not acceptable. Cool. I love pick a path in the dark. Real, it's real fun, chat. It's what we call fun. Okay, I found a light switch. I did it, I guess. There's a teleporter over there, I'm assuming. Uh, this has to be a teleporter. Because I don't see what else we would do with this. Oh, it's the receiving end of a teleporter. Wait, does that mean I could accidentally step on something and end at the entrance? That's kind of horrific. Blue is locked, red green is open. So Chad, I have a genuine question. How do these characters like explore their own ship? Like, do they just have people that are like just permanently, you know, designated to stand at the switch? Because if they ever try to leave, they might not be able to. I have so many questions, Chad. They're like, ha ha! I've locked the entrance in order for us to get through there. But I didn't think about how I'm getting home later. <clears throat> we're, we're in like literally game design dungeons. Like compare this kind of ship to something in like Tales of Destiny, where like you could see it functioning as a ship, but it was also a dungeon. Like the, the design approach to these just don't really make sense. Like, it's just really just puzzles for the sake of having puzzles. <laughs> Lack of planning, that's true. Like, oh no. Aesthetic over function. I think that's a good description of what this game does a lot. There's an end teleport. There's a door down there. I might as well take the encounter. I mean, there's a very slim chance I'll level. I do eventually need to get the next light spell so I can switch over to Thanatos. We can't be that far away. Sadly, when we've been nuking bosses, we've been switching out our uh, selection. So I wonder if it's worth just using, like, three high sparks into a combine with hello if an enemy doesn't die. I'm kind of curious if it is worth doing that. Since this doesn't appear to be going away and they seem to die too quickly, I might as well deal with that. Oh no. Well, chat, the thing I did not want to do, it's in this dungeon. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be in this dungeon? Oh boy. I'm not sure if I could go that way or not. I guess we'll find out. Okay. What is... <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Why? What is this chat? Like, come on. Am I really gonna need to memorize, like, eight different teleports to get out of this room? What if I could drop down here? I don't know where I am relative to anything. Oh, I'm back in this room. Cool. I love this. My favorite game design technique of making me go back to the entrance. So I think it was up, then it was right, and we ignore this. Where do I go? Do I drop all the way down? There's two over here. So we're gonna say bottom right. I think this is locked, so I can't do anything with it. The so bottom right. Like, I'm so disappointed. What is this? Is this taking me to the security? I am so disgusted right now, chat. I have a one in three of going where I need to go. What is this? Uh, 
Okay, that just led me back here, so that's fine. This is a do-over. Alright, so we have 50-50. I'm gonna choose bottom right. Which put me up here, which could be correct. That's where we need to exit. But then I can drop oh, but then I can drop down anywhere. No. Come on. I found the exit but not the switch. Man, this sucks. Uh okay, what is bottom left? Bottom left, okay, bottom left also takes me there. It's just a waste of time. Got it. Hi, why did they do this? Did we ever go to this one? I don't think we did, right? I hate this so I hate this so much, chat. This is like the epitome of like how to make me cranky in like five easy steps. Teleport maze that goes to different rooms, and I don't get to see the whole room to understand what we need to do. So, like, do I need to go to this door, or, do, or is there another door I should be considering before I do this? Like, was there something in here I should do before I go further? Let me check around briefly. Like, was there a blue door over here? I'm looking around. Just making sure there's no other way I can go. Alright, so don't see anything else I could do. Yeah, I don't think there's another way. If I miss something, I'm not going back for it at this point. I'll be real with you. Okay, so I'm assuming that other warp takes me back to the entrance. I'm not going to use that. Because I remembered there was the warp that was a one-way. So I really do not want to exit. So presumably this is the save before the bosses. That was semi-mercifully short. Uh, how... I'm kind of injured. You know what? I'm actually just going to heal up here, if I can. These. I mean, when else am I going to use these, other than, like, literally right now? So, if we'd gotten into, like, two more battles, the Thoris might have leveled, but I'm be real with you, I don't think it matters. So, you've come this far, trying to cut into Odessa's ideals. So, you're Odessa's leader, Vincefeld Radamanthus. That name still gets me. Vincefeld, this is as far as your treachery goes. Hmm. I, no, we, are going to put a stop to your foolish ambitions. I promised him in Plutomia that I'd stop you before you run wild. Hmm. I'm going to stop you for the Liberation Army you betrayed as well. Don't make me mad. Someone as deluded as you is going to stop me. Don't make me laugh. Even if you are a hero, you can't stop me. Besides, I have my own personal grudge against you all. How dare you kill my Aunt Nora. I'll never forgive you. Your death won't be quick. Come on. Our deals aren't so simple that the likes of you could put a stop to it. You won't leave here alive. My sword... Mad Mountains, that is the name. Mad Mountains will take care of you. Consider it an honor to get slaughtered by Odessa's leader. Hmm. I guess I should double check to see- Maybe I should try to boost my sorcery as high as possible before we go any further.
ideas, values, consciousness, and power. Put all that together and people will get stronger. That's progress for the future. Odessa will guide Phil Gaia to the next era. We're pioneers. You're telling me to be prepared to let the stupid, ignorant masses get in my way. Definitely not. Oh, you can tell he's a villain, Chad. He's got white hair. We will, we with the wolf fangs, will be the ones to open the way to the next era. Ideals won't yield. They'll never die. All right, let's check our equipment real quick. What do I have on me? So I think I equip G Ramtos for more damage potentially, right? Before I use my caps. I think that would be smart. Uh, we'll do lock on whatever our strongest one is. Lawnmower, maybe? And we'll just pop a cap. Oh yeah, I forgot about mini carrots. Honestly, I might just have a character mini carrot this character. But not right away, I want to build some meter. Yeah, let's build some meter. Oh, did I do Vortex by accident? I thought it did Spark. Oops. Hopefully that doesn't make a difference. Oh, it still did insane damage. For my Wrath, okay. How much is this gonna do? That's not too bad. So we're doing about 6,000 a turn. Not bad. We'll do a normal attack here. We're going to... There's another cap. Then I'm going to... I'm thinking he's going to be worth XP. I really hope he's worth a lot of XP. I don't know if I care about duplicating money. It might be worth duplicating XP here. So what I'm going to do, let's let's get his XP early. Then I'm going to heal next turn, and then we'll go for the kill, I think. Let's use all of our caps, and then we'll try to finish them with, like, a combine. So we're doing, on average, about... 5,000 to 6,000 a turn. So we'll heal this turn with hello. Just to keep everybody topped off. And then we'll burn our abilities here. Let's do lock on with a uh, lawnmower. We're going to have you heal, so I'm out of kill range. Let's go ahead and Gatling to our kick for damage. And then I guess we'll go for the kill next turn. This will just put me in safety levels, so it should be good here. And this will make up not using a spell. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. 40 Hypnoblast, or Hypoblast. Well, I'm glad we healed, because this probably would have killed the party member. Oh, that did, like, no damage. Never mind, I thought I was going to do like 1600, but 800s, whatever. Okay. We're going to go ahead and normal attack. We're going to go ahead and use our last cap. And then I guess I'm going to try to do as much damage as I can here. Two drive cut. Vortex cut sparked. Okay. Convenient new ability. Counterattacking her is fine, as long as it doesn't do like a million damage. So I think this battle is basically over. It's big damage. So I'm just gonna go for a combine here and hopefully get the kill. But I'm assuming with how much damage we're doing, he can't have that much health left. We've done, I think, almost 20,000 damage at this point. Oh, speaking of which, never mind, didn't even get to do it. And we got 20,000 experience, though. That's a good level up. I won't accept that the ideals will die like this. I mean, I was definitely going to nuke him next turn. Let's be very clear, chat. He was definitely going to be nuked. I won't accept that the ideals will die like this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We didn't get money, so I don't think we killed you for real. You fools. 
this raid you'll be greeting your human limitations. To resist the monsters, every one power has to be united as one. That's the best way to take on the menace that'll be coming this way. The monsters. Ridiculous. It was Odessa that manipulated the monsters and made them flow from the earth. That's true. We use the monsters as soldiers. We use them in the demon summoning you're well acquainted with. But think about it. How could we release so many monsters in such a short time? What's the point in creating monsters we can't control without some plan? Then it's... It's not us. It's an advanced guard of some different threat. Advanced guard of a different threat? Yeah, it's called Disc 2. <laughs> As a reminder, chat, there are two discs of this game. There's no way this game is ending here. <laughs> what? Udon is confused too. It will fall along with my ideals. You two can fall with the Heimdall Gazo. Power reactor is overloaded at this rate. What's gonna happen? It'll be crushed to smithereens, and we will be too. But you won't let him do that, right? Ashley? Of course. Aerial fortress this large has to have escape pods. Let's find them. Oh, I still have control. As we go through this door. Looks like we need to use this control panel here to operate the escape devices. All five escape devices are in different lo- Are all in different locations. I rolled my eyes, chat, if you're wondering what the pause was. So that means it's impossible for us to all escape at once. We get so far and have this happen. We've sure got bad luck. What are we gonna do? Are you really gonna split the party? I'll take care of this. Hurry up and get to the escape devices. Hurry, we've got no time. We won't leave until you promise us you'll get us out until you'll get out if you're alive too. Sure, I promise. How could it just die in vain? Not right before your very eyes. Promise, Bashley. We'll promise to return together, so you've gotta keep your promise. Please don't be a time limit. Everyone set? <clears throat> no problem here. All okay. Don't forget your promise. Don't worry. Ashley, prepare for launch too. There isn't much time. No problem here. The rest is up to you. Oh, good thing we had exactly five people, Chad. <laughs> Number six would have been feeling real awkward on those teleports. Prepare for launch. Face forward. I'll get out of get out of here soon too. See you all on land. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, no. Chad, no. No. Just... Game, please. How many gimmicks do you need in a dungeon? We already have the teleports of the switches. Do we really need to split the party? Jeez. Well, she's able to go through the door, so I might as well just keep going. Huh? There don't seem to be random encounters, at least, so small mercies. We're making progress with her. Now I can hit a door. I could go through here. What's over here? Oh, this is the healing chamber. Um... Yeah, that's good enough. So she can't go through there anyway, so might as well split this. You go forward now? Yes. I think he seems to be able to do here. Which characters? Red door I'm able to go through now. So we have a couple blocks that I can't 
because I don't I can't pull them backwards. I can push this block forward if I want to. Or maybe I can't with this character. I, I don't know what this is doing. I'm assuming it's manipulating something I can't see off screen. I could go through the door. Get to the console eventually. Assuming he can't just jump across, that would make too much sense. I don't see what the point of this room is yet. I guess we'll switch to Kane Aiden slash Irene. Okay, so now I can free this character. Okay, now now at least it, I'm getting an idea of what I need to do. So now I can move forward. They could just help each other progress. This makes sense to me. This checks out. I don't know what the other character will do. She's able to continue, so let's continue for now. She can run across that. Should end up in the other room with the kid. There's a block I can push. There's multiple doors. Okay. Oh, so I need more than one character to complete this. Like, was was this really necessary for the? Oh, I can't go through that door. Um, can you flip the switch? You could go through here now. So there is a block over here that I can't do anything with. But you can't progress through here yet. So what do I do? Oh wait, no, no, hold on. Can I do the, the blast? Does this work on that block? Oh, it's been so long since we've used that. I honestly actually forgot that was a tool. Like, we used that, like, once. And then now I switch back to him and move it again. Okay. okay. We're not stuck. I just have to think about all their many, many tools. Again, this seems like the world's slowest crash. I'm not really sure what they were thinking with this. Like, oh no, we gotta escape! Let's go through 15 minutes of puzzle! Surely we'll escape in time! Now we can go back as hello and presumably hit the switch by using... or whatever it's called. Okay. Don't know what else I need to do. So he's here. Ooh, there. Is there anything else he needs to do over here? We could go through this underway now. Okay, this room is gonna be. So he's eventually gonna need to escape through here. Okay, so. He's now our endpoint. What do we do with these other characters? Also, like, <laughs> how do do the like other people on the ship just choose not to go through here? Like, what what is the thought process for this area? Okay. Like, golly gee, we gotta escape the ship quick! Get four of your buddies and hope you can get through the maze. Not seeing anything to do with her, which is a bit weird. She only has one tool, and it doesn't do anything here. What process? What's that? Is this holding something down? It, it is. Oh, well... How does that work, though? Can I move that in a way that would help me? I don't think I can. She can't jump this gap. I also... I. 
don't think I can pull a switch. Oh, no, I can. I'm sorry. Take that back. Does that mean I could do... Wait, how is that going to work? Oh, no, 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 no. I see what to do. I see what to do. Okay. With this... Please actually... Please grab the block. Why are you being stupid with me? Also, please do not assign dash and uh, grab to the same button because it definitely prioritizes dash way more than it should. No, I'm holding up, you idiot. Oh, jeez, come on. I hate that so much. <laughs> I hate that so... I was holding up on the D-pad, but because I hit X slightly too early... Wait, what happens if it falls off? Wait, I can't do this puzzle. Oh, maybe I have to full reset the room. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, I was walking down, I hit X, then I hit up. But because, like, for, like, a frame, I was holding it too long, she pushed it. And I'm not allowed to, like, take it back. She has to move at intervals. Like, I'm being very careful. She's big dumb. This game is not very friendly with its buffers. Like, I pressed it right here, then hit left, and that was, uh, not enough for the game. I'm glad the ship is taking its sweet time to fall. <laughs> but do you see what I mean, chat? Where I feel like the game is having puzzles for the sake of puzzles. Like, there's no flow. This doesn't really make sense for where it's at. I don't feel like I'm circumventing, like, a security system. It's just kind of arbitrary BS is happening. Okay, so what does this do for me? It lowers this. So, but there's also a door over here. Okay, so maybe this will activate the green door. Uh, let's go back to him. This is standard evacuation procedure. Like, like they had shuttles and like this is where they went. Why? Um, just out and then push. So if I'm not lined up with it, he'll do the- like that. Like, you would think that would grab it, but he'll dash, because he's an idiot. There we go. This is standard OSHA proof emergency exit. Feels like they got inspired by Metroid Escape, but they forgot they're in the wrong genre for it to actually work. This is like the world's slowest escape from a crashing uh, ship. This is just so dumb. I just don't even know what to say. If this was all, like, solo stuff, and it was one person doing it, maybe you could excuse it. Okay, where does this need to go? Huh. And this one lowers the other one, presumably, correct? So... Does it... Why does this one matter? Am I missing something? Why, why, why do I need this? Unless I can't push it downstairs, then I guess that almost makes sense. I'm not seeing. Why is he so stupid? I swear, chat. Like I was, I was touching the box and he bonks on it. Why? Why did they do this? This is horrible. I hate this. So, is there a reason I can't push this down the stairs? Let's learn. Uh, am I missing something with the puzzle? Can I not just do this? <gasps> Please grab the box and stop bonking. This is absolutely driving me wild. Oh, he... Oh, I'm sorry, chat. Bo staircases are too tough for boxes. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Whatever. So... Oh, my God. Game, please. So then I don't think it's in a place I can recover it from easily like, constantly not bonk off of things. How is this gonna work? Like, I can lower it, but then, like, I can't pull it in time. Like, I think that's what it wants me to do, is to slide it. Boxes actually have a fear of stairs. They were always up to something. So, like, I could run there. I just don't think it'll be fast enough. So the question is... Alright, we're gonna leave it here for now. I'll think about this. Oh, maybe I have to kick it? Hold on, can we kick the boxes? No. I don't think we could weigh the switch down, right? No, we can't weigh it down temporarily. 
switch to hello and shoot it. Oh, yeah, that's probably true, actually. I always forget that's an ability. Now he'll let hello through. We still aren't at the console, though. Man, this escape sequence is going on for an eternity. Why did they do this? I Like, honest question. Like, this is, like, so long. We've been here for, like, 12 minutes, chat. I swear. So this is the escape pod. I wonder if everyone arrives safely. Don't know how to release the lock on the escape pod. What should I do? What can I do? Alright, so we're done with him officially. I'm not giving up. I can't blow it here. Hold your heart str Hold your heart strong? What? I'm gonna protect- I'm gonna become strong so I can protect everyone. That's right! Despair destroys all hope, and that negates any possibilities for the future. Hello, you're not weak. Yeah, we know that. He already kills every boss instantly. Persistent strength will reach the future. I feel like this is like Valkyrie Profile 2, where they, where I have like the most unkillable god face tank, and they're like, "How my hands are stinging!" I feel I'm getting that vibe with Hello, and it's it's also starting to bother me. Hello, can you hear the sound of your heart from the transmitter? Oh, okay. The empathite is uniting our hearts. It's all right. Undo the escape pod lock now. So get in and wait, okay? I can hear it. Hear Bashley's voice clearly. I understand. I'll wait in the escape pod. Please hurry, Bashley. You know what this means, chat? You know this means I'm gonna have a 1v1 with Bashley. I am so glad we did not use him in the other fight, by the way. Because you know we're gonna start that fight injured. I'm just I'm just declaring it. We didn't kill Vinsfeld yet. You overload running wild on Hamdel Gaza's making it creak. Why does he keep saying running wild? Won't be long now. And they'll be put it soon we will put an end to the war with Odessa. But we have no obligation to Vince. We have to survive. What? There's a wilderness I need to cross alive to create a future with no worlds. No, we didn't kill Vincefeld. So the way you know you haven't killed a human character, Dango, this is meta. You always get money if you actually kill the character. If you just beat them, you get XP. When we beat Vinsfeld earlier, he just gave us XP. So I know from a meta standpoint, he can't possibly be dead. It's impossible. Thesaurus, Thesaurus, can you hear my voice? You can hear the voice of Thesaurus' heart from the communicator. The empathet is uniting our heart. Is he really going to say this every time? I'm all right. You can operate the escape pod panel from here. That's right, we're not finished yet. We still have so much left to do. The Empathite takes the heart. A miracle. He's a hero. It's not unusual for this to happen. Could you imagine doing this BS puzzle for like 17 minutes and then game overing because Bashley was injured and you just get one shot at the beginning of the next encounter? Could you imagine, chat? I'm so glad we did not use him in the other encounter. We we dodged a potential I went through this puzzle for nothing moment. So classic game design there. Because even if you continued, if you're low on health and he goes first, you just always die, right? <laughs> I'm leaving it up to you. I'm going to bed a I'm going to bed a bit before you. Oh, okay. just unconscious we didn't check his pockets and now if hopefully this just goes straight to the escape pod please okay good finally made it i don't like being alone we've always been together we we all have or we have to all be together i i guess no you've got to be kidding this place is locked too do something my magic alone can't do anything your magic has literally done nothing vicky don't flatter yourself, it's so bad in this game. Other than- I, the only purpose of your magic is to put it in a container for somebody better to use. <laughs> like, that, that is the hard truth, and chat knows it's true. <laughs> like, her spells are actually usable by other characters, therefore... Only her spells are useful there. Vicky too. 
Nikki 2, calm down. Focus your ear on my voice. Release the escape pod lock now, so calm down and wait. The empathite in the communicator binds us, so you're not alone. You're hearing my voice, right? Your voice is reaching me, so you'll be fine. Noticing a lot of repetition in these lines. The empathite? Well, wait, don't go looking at any places you shouldn't be, okay? <laughs> sure, because there's so much I haven't told you yet. Dot dot dot. I would dot dot that bit too. But thanks for cheering me up. I'm all right now. Then I'm. Oh, excuse me. I'm all right now that I'm with you. I'm fine and dandy. Holy chat. I, I want somebody to seriously go back and tell me how long this escape sequence was. <laughs> it's like this is taking an eternity. We're still not done. We finally reached the escape pod. I'm gonna pray that this escape pod doesn't turn into my casket. I mean, how tacky. The barometric pressure is changing so quickly. What's happening? It can't be. We're not falling. It's just the opposite of that. What? Oh. Oh, is that why it's taking it forever to fall? It's going upwards. Because, of course, when you crash a ship, you send it to space. The most logical way to crash a ship. Of course. That explains everything, chat. 10 out of 10. Master plan. Last stop orbit, pretty much. Ship's engineers are sending Heimdall Gazo to the heavens. No, we're ascending to the, to a sea of stars. Wait, what's the difference between heaven and sea of stars? Aren't they interchangeable? Whatever. We're not going to question this translation. At this rate, we'll... <laughs> going to crash the ship into the sun. I Irene, Irene, it's me, Bashley. I almost thought that said everyone. I'm not going to lie. It's the voice of your heart. The empathite in the communicator led me here. The altitude at Heimdall Gazo is rising, rising rapidly. But don't give up. We can't be finished off now. Not like this. I am so glad we gave him decent equipment, by the way. Imagine having, like, actually useful items on other characters, like strength ups, and it not being on Bashley. I really dislike when the game assumes that you're going to play the protagonist the most. Near your heart's voice, too. You're right, it can't end. I can hear it, too. Mixed in with your heart's voice is the howl of the demon. Don't worry, I'm the one who will exercise it out of you. That's why you need to survive no matter what, got it? Things are just kind of happening, Chad. It's all set. There's no time left. But yeah, you, it was like a 12 minute puzzle. We have to hurry or else. Translation, don't die because I have to kill you, pretty much. Oh, here you are, you scoundrel. Binsfeld. We went like three rooms. It just feels like we went further. I want an answer. Why do you not die along with your ideals? Why do you persist in living? I have a place to return home to and people to return to as well. Someone special waiting for me, too. I have fought to bring back the daily life we all once enjoyed. You say daily life? How absurd. You tread our ideals, our ideals just for that. In my 19 years, I found nothing else worth risking my life. I uh, hear it. Of, of course we're going to 1v1. I could technically card him to get more XP. It's not over yet. I can't let it be over. It's over. <laughs> what a what a what a comeback from Ashley there. Quick on the wit, as it were. The ideals of Odessa, the desire for your for world domination, your madness too. Ashley Winchester, only you. Only you what? Only you what? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna build meter for access or whatever. So he did outspeed us. So in theory, Chad, I could have died from that. Fortunately, that did not do a lot of damage. Let's build meter. I think after this, we're going to take a safety heal. Because at least we're healing close to 2,000. Sadly, we're not engaging our critical. Like, one more and we'll be pretty much there. 
even if he goes first here, it should basically give us 2,000 back. That's pretty much perfect on our part. The next turn, we'll be able to do access, no matter what here. I'm kind of sad we haven't gotten a single critical so far. That was kind of like the point of that, like we're building meter here. Condition green. I guess I just power up then, right? Oh, are we summoning the theme music? There we go, we summoned our theme music. Ah, uh, that's big damage. If this gives us any stats up, I'm not gonna be that worried. Ah, uh, didn't really. Oh yeah, how much is it for the other one? We need 50 for Banisher, so let's do that, I guess. Build up for Banisher. Oh, good, he's doing a weak attack here, that's perfect. Uh, let's do Hot Fencer and the Banisher, maybe? Because he should give us 50 meter. Hopefully this will kill him, otherwise I'll just use arms. Okay. Well, let's see if the- let's see if I jump the gun or not. So he shouldn't be able to kill us no matter what here. Let's see how much damage this does. This will end our form bonus. But I still have my other arms to kill him if we really need to. Oh, yeah, that was perfect, actually. 10,000 XP. I think that's about as good as I could have gotten it there, to be honest. I'm finished. I never even imagined it. For the end to visit me is something that was never supposed to happen. But that's all right. If you want to end the party, I'll give you an end of life. What do you have up your sleeve? I'm finished, but you're finished, too. And Phil Gaia's finished as well. Nuke! Are you planning to launch the strategic nuclear weapon you stole from Guild Galad? <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Everything will come to an end with my end. The party must die. Uh, I feel like this will probably be a disc swapping moment for sure. Especially if it changes the overworld. They gotta load the overworld in disc 2. No gear. Oh god. What? It's not what I pictured when they said nuke. <laughs> and think giant magic symbol, to be honest. I guess that makes it make more sense? What did you do, Vince Felt? You didn't! The nuclear weapon landing... Nuclear weapons landing pad. The trump card. The Gros Sween. Photon blast nuke, I think so. I was thinking more, more literal nuke, like not actual magic nuke. It was launched before completion. But there's no way to predict when the nuke will fall on Phil Gaia. One week later, or one month later, a nuclear blaze could blow. It'd come tomorrow. Live in fear. There's nothing you could do but live under the threat of ruin. Mickey Two Thesaurus. Hello, Irene. Let's all save our Phil Gaia from nuclear weapons. Please get there in time. Come on, escape pod. Phil Gaia needs the arms, so we must... Woo! Why are we wooing? It's the burial of an era. Everything will be buried, all by Vince Felt's hands. Empathite, please tell Cliche I'm sorry. I won't be able to keep my promise. Nah, that's okay. We got better damage dealers. Oh no, we're being summoned to Peruti. Listen to the theme. Those shooting stars.
Fishing upon a star is so silly. Come on, tell me what you wished for. You wished for too much. The star won't make it come true. Dango says, new killer tragedy hanging above sure looks beautiful tonight. I think so. I didn't wish for much. Just that everyone makes it through the fighting safely. Well, I'm sure this star can handle a wish like that. I guess we'll see what happens. All of us promised that we would return home together. Hmm. Why is there always one person who breaks their promise? Chad, bob out to the music. Oh, the lyrics are kicking in. There we go. Is that the ship? I can't- I barely recall what it looks like. <laughs> Assuming so. You know, I feel like we're only a few steps away from Shadow Hearts, we go to space to fight God. <laughs> I feel like we're- I feel like we're leading up to that. There we go. Fortunately, we had our protective space barrier. There we go. So I'm assuming it's going to be please swap to disc two. I feel like we're at that point. <laughs> I was going to reference Shadow Hearts when the magic circle feared in space. Yeah, it really did remind me of that. Disc two. I would like to save the game. We'll see how it handles swapping discs. This will be the moment of truth. So we're officially never going back to disc one. Rip disc one. So rip any enemies we missed. I'm not going to go back for you. I'm sorry. Don't want to. Phil Gaia subspace. Please insert disc two. You know what, chat? I think we'll save that for next time. I think we got far enough. Listen, chat. That dungeon was exhausting. Those last two, those last five dungeons were like, ugh. <laughs> so we'll talk. I mean, I had to go in like 20 minutes anyway. I, I don't feel like doing another 15 minutes. Sorry, Wild Arms too. Let's chat a little bit. So how do I feel about the characters, the game, everything so far? Now that we're officially on to disc two. Well... I think it had a very shaky start with playing as the sorceress Vicky first. I think from the standpoint of her puzzles, they were just kind of more annoying than they were hard due to like camera angle. And that opinion has not really changed at all between all of the other dungeons. I think the overworld was almost done better than Wild Arms 1, but then they introduced a very annoying search function. And then I think they knew it was annoying because they gave us a character that specifically stops us from needing to do so. So I think they knew deep down that nobody wants to keep searching the overworld over and over and over for locations. And that is not good game design. 
I do. I would have been okay with hidden items being like that. I really don't think it's appropriate for dungeons to be like that unless it's like bonus dungeons. Like, how do we not notice a town chat? How do we not notice? Like, we see a bridge, but we don't see a castle, an entire town. We don't see temples. Like, come on. Cut me a break. There's stuff we should not need to search for. I'm sorry. If it's like a town hidden in a forest, you can have a one-off. I, you know, I could be like, I don't like it, but I could deal with it. But yeah, when like 15 to 18 locations of the game are like, you have to search to find it. It's like, wow. Like, how do we not know where the pillars are? Like, they, they are taller than like the mountains which encapsulate them. Like, should it just be like, gee, where do we go? And then there's like this giant death tower. <laughs> it's like, it's like multiple stories tall. It's bigger than the flying spaceship that we're in by a lot. Like, wow, where'd this huge castle come from, says Dango, exactly. I really hope they scrap this mechanic entirely for Wild Arms 3. I'll, I'm going to take a look at the gameplay of that when we're done with this game, and I'm going to make a judgment call. But man, Wild Arms 2, even though I feel like they improved some things over the first game, I'm going to be honest with you, I like the first game more so far. I don't know if it's like the translation issues, because there are a lot of them. But I feel like... There's just, like, a lot of repetition in the dialogue. Like, I, I think we could have had almost, like, a mini quote-unquote drinking game with how many times they said the word empathite <laughs> or in the other cutscene, for example, would be the biggest one that stands out to me. But I think a lot of it is quote-unquote lost in translation. Like, it just doesn't have the impact that I think they're looking for. And I think that's kind of the issue when you go too big with your party. Like, I like that I can sub out my party. I think those things in combat are fine. I'm still, I still don't think I like the MP system for FP. It makes it more their own unique system, but at the same time, it has definitely rendered a lot of characters basically useless. Like, there, there is no reason to use Vicky 2. I think Chat can agree. There is literally no reason to use this character. Unless her basic spell is the weakness, maybe it'll be comparative damage to one of the other characters. Otherwise, she's just worse in every single way over at Thesaurus and Bashley. Maybe she's slightly better than Kanan slash Irene. But I think that also has to deal with the fact that we put the Strength Apples on Thesaurus. Like, Thesaurus is critical, is more damage than Vicky will do, honestly, in, like, even, like, a very generous scenario. And that's just his normal attack. Let alone he could just AoE nuke everything. So I definitely feel like some of the spellcasters are kind of highly gimped. I feel like from the standpoint, if we did not power level hello, we would be struggling really hard in this game. There's so many times where like we never had access to an AoE heal without building meter. So either we would have to mini carrot every single time we're in a boss battle in order to get access to it or we would have to manually attack with the characters. So imagine needing to attack like twice to unlock first aid. Like how much worse the game would be from a pacing standpoint. Like I know we cheated, quote unquote, to get Hello more powerful, but if he did not have access to that ability, so many of the bosses would have been terrible because we don't have really good healing options. We have very limited healing items. I just don't like the balance of this game compared to the first one. I think the standpoint of like the crests I think they are generally way better in the first game. I feel like, aside from using them on characters that are not supposed to have them, I don't, I'm not really impressed with like the cost adjustments. Like, Think about all the ones that we used in Wild Arms 1 compared to this game. Whether it's things like Armor Down, or Valkyrie slash Kirk++, or any of our single target light spells. Like, Vicky doesn't have any of those. It feels pretty bad. And then, like, basic things where I feel like magic should have gotten AoE before guns. And, like, definitely stronger AoE, I'm okay with it being locked away. But I just find it weird that it's, like, the spellcasters are just so bad in comparison. And, ma and weapons still don't raise their sorcery, which I think is a big crime. I don't know why they didn't fix that between games. I'm hoping in Wild Arms 3, if they have spellcasters, they finally add sorcery to the weapons, so there's a reason to use them. Because at this point, it's like, why would you ever melee? If you have infinite basic spells, why would you ever melee with those characters? 
because you're not going to do it in normal encounters and if you need to build meter in boss battles you're just going to carry it do you know what i mean like it's it's not as efficient and granted we avoid that by power leveling hello to a great extent in like seven levels he's going to become like the undisputed god of the game because he's going to have perma aoe which is going to be bonkers when that happens um but we already see his damage is pretty high and sadly there's just really not i think without having like double action i feel like the spellcaster vicky is falling hilariously far behind like we have you know two three force powers and they just she just does not seem on the same t par as the other team i think cannon's also kind of that way you have to kind of babysit her with strength apples since i think the other characters are already strong enough so if we if we are serious about using her we should probably just give her strength apples also we don't seem to have a way to farm those apples like in the first game either so we can't really do catch-up stats on some of these characters so I don't know. We could take advantage of Kanan's speed for now, and maybe we'll mess around with her a bit, but I might just go back to Bashley. I guess it's good to say Bashley for bosses. Yeah, chat. I don't know. I I'm disappointed for sure. So we'll we'll beat the game, I think. I'm hoping there's not going to be that many series of terrible dungeons in a row between two sessions. And I hope there's no pick the random switch, pick random path, do dark path, do dark mode with all these things. We'll see. It's very unfortunate for sure. This is the game I would I would not replay again for sure. Especially after those series of dungeons. My my patience for it is in like the negative numbers. So we're gonna try to mentally reset, but I, I'm very disappointed in where the series has gone. I feel like it could have been so much better. And I feel like they're squandering it by falling into a lot of early 3D traps. Like I think they're just very much obsessed with 3D and not thinking it's a it's one of those things where the they should think about, you know, they're so obsessed with doing it that they're not thinking about whether or not they should do it. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those scenarios again, and we've seen that in many, many games. But anyway, chat, that's all I have to say for YouTube. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the bot, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.